Start bots, go. Status check. Go Vulcan. Go Centaur. Go Peregrine. 15. Then T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. We have ignition. And liftoff of the first United Launch Alliance Vulcan rocket, launching a new era in spaceflight to the moon and beyond. Everything looking good. DE4s continue to operate normally. Coming up on two minutes into the mission. We are now 17 miles in altitude. We just heard confirmation of solid rocket booster jettison. We have about three minutes until we reach our next mission event, booster engine cutoff. And we see booster PU correcting towards a nominal MR. Everything looking good. Both engines continue to burn normally. And we now weigh approximately half of our liftoff weight. Everything looking good. And we fired the power valve, activating the reaction control system. On the upper stage, pressures are rising. As expected, PE4 continues to operate normally. Vehicles continue to fly down the center of the range track. Everything looking good. 33 miles in altitude, 52 miles downrange, traveling at 4,000 miles per hour. Continue to see excellent performance out of the BE-4s. Chamber pressure nice and smooth. Vehicle steadily accelerating, a little over 2 Gs at this time. Good body rates. Nice and smooth operation of the booster. 47 miles in altitude, 95 miles downrange at 5,500 miles per hour. Engines continue to burn normally. Everything looking good. And the vehicle now weighs one quarter of its liftoff weight as we pass through the Carmen line. Next mark that we're looking for is Blue Space Children on the Centaur main engines. Booster mains continue to operate normally. So, 
And we've begun boost phase chill. Housing temps are dropping as expected. Coming up to the end of the boost phase. Approximately 10 seconds to Biko. Throttle down in preparation for Biko. We've completed boost phase chill down. And we have cutoff.